diode is a component that will only allow a current to flow through it in one direction. You might also see these referred to as semiconductor diodes, but you can just call them diodes at GCSE. When they are made, they usually have this grey stripe on them to indicate their direction. You don't need to be able to recognise a diode like this, but you need to be able to recognise and draw its circuit symbol. This consists of a triangle and a line drawn in a circle, with the triangle indicating the direction of the diode. When we have a current in this direction, then it can flow normally. The diode has no effect on it, and we can refer to this direction as the positive bias of the diode. But if we reverse the current, then it will be stopped by the diode. The current can no longer flow if it's trying to go against the direction of the diode. For your exams, you will need to be able to tell when a current will or won't flow through a diode in a circuit diagram. Remember that a conventional current will flow from the positive end of the cell to the negative end. So in the circuit on the left, it will flow anti-clockwise. Notice that this is the same direction the triangle in the diode symbol is pointing. So the diode doesn't affect the current and it can flow normally. Then on the right, we also have a current that is directed anti-clockwise around the circuit. But the direction of the diode has been reversed, so it now points in the opposite direction. This means that no current flows, as the diode is stopping the current from flowing through it in the wrong direction. This makes diodes very useful in large complex circuits, where we need to make sure currents don't try to flow back on themselves. But how does a diode stop a current? Well, it's to do with its resistance, which we can understand by looking at its IV graph. For potential differences greater than a certain value, the resistance of the diode is low. This potential difference value is also known as the threshold potential difference. We can mark it here on the horizontal axis of an IV graph. Remember that this graph will show us the relation between the current and potential difference for the component. Normally, the threshold frequency is about 0.7 volts, but this will depend on the temperature of the diode and the material used to make it. You don't need to recall this value though. Then for potential differences above this PD, the graph looks something like this. Since it's above the horizontal axis, it tells us that we get positive values for the current flowing through the diode. In other words, a current can flow for these potential differences. Also, we can see that the graph is quite steep above this potential difference. This tells us that the diode has low resistance. Since remember the steeper the IV graph, the smaller the resistance. So above the threshold frequency, the diode will have little effect on the current. Then for potential differences less than this, the resistance of the diode is extremely high. Here the graph looks like this. It covers the potential differences below the threshold potential difference and all negative PDs. In other words, when we've tried to reverse the direction of the current. Since the graph is now on the x-axis and none of these points have any y values, this shows there is no current flowing. The diode has stopped the current because we've gone below the threshold potential difference. Also, since the graph is almost horizontal, it has almost no gradient. This means the diode must have a very high resistance. This change in resistance is what makes the diode work. Above the threshold potential difference, the resistance is low to allow a current to flow. But below it, the resistance greatly increases to stop the current. So are there any other devices that work like this? A light emitting diode is a diode that will light up when a current flows through it in the correct direction. Here's what this type of diode would look like. 
They're most commonly red, but can be made in all sorts of different colours. Like normal diodes, they still stop currents from flowing through them in the wrong direction. There's no stripe to indicate its positive bias, but instead we can use the legs to determine this. The current should flow up the longer leg and down the shorter leg. Usually there's also a flat edge by the shorter leg. Then if the current is flowing correctly, the diode lights up. This is useful for when we need a way of checking where currents are and aren't flowing correctly in large circuits. Again, you'll only need to recognise the correct direction of a light-emitting diode from its circuit symbol, which looks like this. It's the same as the symbol for a normal diode, but with these arrows to show it's emitting light. Also, remember that we will often refer to light-emitting diodes as LEDs. Then the IV graph for a light-emitting diode is the same as that of a standard diode. So it will also look like this, where we have the threshold potential difference where the graph first meets the x-axis. To the right, the graph is steep as the LED has low resistance to let a current flow. Then on the left, the graph is horizontal as it has a high resistance to stop the current flowing in the wrong direction. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, Head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there!